What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. In this episode we are going to manually fight um, the garrison here of Katak, such as it is. Um, chiefly because we don't want to draw Giorgio Matarazzi, his army, into battle during the resulting um, auto resolve. And we've already tried to demand their surrender and they will not give up. But you can see we are building our presence um, in India as well as having a couple more armies on the way. But... First, let us attack Katak. So Katak is quite useful because it's a military governor's barracks. It gives us a, another um, forward position to recruit troops. So it's not a a civil government building. It's a military governor's barracks. So it will be able to produce, you know, line infantry, cavalry, artillery, howitzers, en enough to make a um, a bare bones army. So once Katak has been secured, we will likely start trying to churn out um, some troops there. So in terms of, well, their forces are weak. So we've got to get in there fast before their howitzers can do too much damage to our infantry. Cavalry wide because they're going to be pushing up fast. <laughs> See, from back here, it doesn't look like there's any terrain, but no, there's a slope here that prevents me from joining and deploying my infantry, my fusiliers. You guys actually stay back. Heavy cavalry on the left, general in the center. So just run a bunch of my troops up to try and get within firing range of their mortars, roughly. I mean, all of our artillery is probably going to be focusing them anyway. Yeah, quick climbing. One mortar garrison's been killed. We're going after my cavalry, which fortunately was on the move. And my fusiliers were sufficiently far away to avoid the attack. So let's get my howitzers working on these musketeers behind the line, field artillery, give them another volley. Yeah, got to keep my heavy cavalry moving. Same with these guys. See they hit us there, but we only lost two. Always stay on the move. Let's bring my general up here as well. See, look, they can still fire even when they're just crew, and they actually get worse because that's about eight more to crew. Eight more to shots. So, retarget my artillery to attack their cavalry. Let my heavy cavalry chew apart the mortars. You can see that the rest of the garrison has fallen pretty succinctly. So let's get my heavy cavalry out of the way and just start killing basic troops. I've got new, I've got more cavalry coming in to attack their their cavalry. Um, this infantry just fire it will off. Now this cavalry, this um, artillery, uh, yeah, infantry fire it will off. Let's halt fire with my artillery now. Their Kizilbashi, well, the Zimandari horsemen aren't going to be long for this world. Granted, they have char I have charged my hussars in first, so they're going to go. My heavy cavalry going to go through. They're going to charge through the engagement to tag the horsemen. My hussars can then break away and attempt to uh, chase down some of these remaining troops because my my heavy cavalry are, uh, are more than adequate to take out these horsemen because they've got got a bit of armor, but it's padded armor rather than chain armor. So I may as well get my hussars chasing down the enemy while my heavy cavalry 
gets to the business of chopping through this much lighter cavalry. So my, yeah, my general's after the musketeers, which is nice, because it means they should rank up quicker in theory. Ah, the, the hawk, yeah, see? The hussars got drawn back. Well, that's okay. We don't, so we don't really need to kill all these troops. Aha, right. Yeah, so the Hindu warriors that my hussars were chasing down have decided to start coming back. So let's keep them charging. In you go. Apologies, I was just having a um, sip of coffee. So there's another, another infantry unit to the rear that's still... that's now coming back. Armed populace. Let's bring more cavalry back to deal with them. I mean, the artillery is not going to do too much. So let's just halt fire again immediately afterwards. Yeah, they're up. They're upset. See, this kind of engagement isn't great because Hindu warriors are melee infantry. So there is a danger that they can really start to chip away. <laughs> Let's go get them. Ah, the Hindu warriors are broken. Run away. No, nope, not allowed. We're going to carry on because you guys, because these, uh, these infantry units decided to come back. We are going to carry on. And we're going to ignore these guys because they'll probably rout. Uh, you just focus on the Hindu warriors. There we go. Yeah, so sometimes you have to fight these smaller arm these smaller battles because you don't, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want this army to be attrited in the resulting auto resolve. So let's just hit enter. Let's give you guys some fortifications. Let's replenish. My army. We can rebuild the steam dry dock. You're on the move. So we've got this a new army being recruited uh, here at Calcutta, which will then which can then push out. Hold on, just a second, guys. Right here. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we've got armies on the move. Um, with this guy covering both the west, the east bank, and this river crossing. If they, if we let them, if we, if they get close to us, the army in Calcutta is replenishing. We've got another army out in the field. We've got an army blocking the park crossing point here. Although he is desperately in need of relief. So, in fact, that might be where Fabrizio Valero. This might be where you come in. Because I don't want this guy to get overrun. As part of that, we want our front line in the west to move up. You guys don't have a lot of movement points, but you can push up the road. There we go. Let's get one of these sixth rates. Back to Colombo. But we are going to be able to sloop to do the garrison roll. Obviously, this new force can sit in Ceylon and continue to build. Obviously, the military capability is growing all the time. I want this guy... If this guy can hold the river crossing down south, that would be huge. Yeah, Katak, yeah, you're ours. Um, question is... Do I knock down the pleasure gardens? And replace them with a church school. Because I don't think you have... We've got two steam-powered factories. No, I think I'm, I'm going to try it. I think once I repair the governor's barracks, things should be better. Um, then over in the Middle East, where everyone's currently charging down through the country to get to where they need to be, Stefano D'Amico needs to go hit this Mughal force here at Bandar Abbas. 
So Heden is close to being attacked, but it looks like we're actually going to have a fairly clean run. I mean, there are some armies marching to try and intervene, but we do have a whole... Once these two units are in position, we can begin our amphibious invasion. Although that's one, two, three, five armies, which, are, which would probably be enough maybe to land in our cot. Maybe. But let's go up here because this force has to hit the um, in the uh, embedded pro, uh, Mughal troops at Bandarabas. And hopefully they route eastwards, but they, there's a chance that they will run around us and come back this way because that's, that's kind of what the AI does. So let's do that. And yeah, once we take Zahedin, obviously we're going to try and get better roads built, but I don't... I expect we will probably be almost across the territory by the time um, better roads are built. So that's not kind of... It's not, it's not really a super useful um, measure of our... <clears throat> uh, not a super useful target. Mm, terrain for artillery is a bit scant. So let's trundle these guys up to here. Deploy the howitzers because they're going to do... Hopefully they're going to do a lot of heavy lifting at the start. We don't have any decent artillery in position. Let's take five infantry units. Position them like so. Let's take two plus a raw Cairo infantry guard on the left. Add another three extended out on the right flank. Give them each a bit of cavalry support. The general's not going to get involved in this fight, even though he could do with getting a bit of experience. Okay, both hit that unit of Kizilbashi, I suppose. So. The main line. Advance up to the higher ground. Got a nice piece of high ground on the right we would like to get. So the guns are going to position up here, but they're not going to be our line. We are going to advance ahead of it. I'm kind of counting on them being slow. Which, I mean, it's, it's heavy artillery. Not a bit of a, not, not too much of a shock. Unfortunate that we can't do too much damage with quicklime, so I'm going to have to might switch these guys to fire round shot and to pick at the camels. Hmm, defences, eh? It would be nice if we could get some infantry up on this hill. That would be quite good. If I had some skirmishes, that would be great. Firing down into the, the mass of the Mughal troops. Ah, yeah, this, they're, they're now... Okay. So which one can reach? You can reach. You're going to quick climb the artillery because they're starting to drop. They're starting to drop um, canister shot on us. Very well. My infantry line needs to advance up a little bit faster. Let's take these three on the left side of this central terrain feature. Get my cuirassiers in, get my light cavalry in, because camels on both sides have extended ahead of the line. Let's take these three units, advance them towards the hill. You guys get over on the right flank. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Make these three guys go to the centre. You, these two, go around the right. Oh, they're coming. So, quick climb artillery. Begin to engage. Yeah, you knocked out some of their gun crews and you're also hitting the musketeers behind them. That's pretty good. 
Everyone run. My artillery's up on the hill so they can unlimber. So let's make sure our... What? No, don't do that. You guys attack the camel nomads. You guys go there. Quick climb, focus on other units. Artillery, just drop shell. Drop shells on the camel gunners. So I want my light cavalry around the rear, really. I don't want you guys firing into that combat. Although the bowmen have routed, even though that wasn't our target. We wanted to kill or knock out the camels. Pull them back. Pull the push the, uh, the camels up or my cavalry up. Push my infantry up. Are you guys charging? You are. Form square. So these men should open up on the camel gunners. They're out of. They're not in a great shot for my artillery. Keep running my light cavalry through. The squares will deal with those camels, so I can just run my cavalry carefully through the back. Hopefully you guys, when you open fire again, you will open up on the camels. The dervishes are, are, are running, so let's get my light cavalry out of here. My cuirassier can attack the camel gunners. Yeah, they are firing into, into the camel gunners. My cuirassier should win that fight. Up on the hill. No, Colonial Light, stay away from the camels. Camels are bad for you. Okay, let's straighten out this line a little bit. Okay, I need to get this light cavalry out of here. They're quite vulnerable. Let's get my cuirassier in here to hit the levee. Because the camel nomads are going to go down to my light cavalry. You guys don't really have that much of a purpose back here. But if you if you can knock out the levee, then you can go charge the bowmen to the rear. Okay, right. Pull my cavalry back. My heavy cavalry's lost because it's been, I mean, it's been mobbed by camels, so I don't really blame them for that. What would be helpful is if I could get my infantry into square. So I'm going to run my light cavalry through the square. Everyone else, providing everyone else should be okay, you've got out of square for some reason isn't great, especially when they say they're winning decisively. It's like, yeah, it's because they're killing you all, you dummies. Not as a bunch of dummies as these guys. Fire it well off for the rear square. They can't help themselves. They're like moths drawn to the flame. Okay, so this square charging to hit the levee. These men push up. Oh, that levee unit's been destroyed. Yeah, these guys have actually taken a bit of a hammering. Retarget my howitzer fire. You guys are just getting shot at by the musketeers. One camel, that's one camel unit run away. Let's get my artillery to fire at the general's bodyguard. No, nope. get out of square. There we go. Now they're getting some artillery fired at them. 
Hopefully if that Kizobashi Musketeer unit routes, doesn't matter, they've broken. Oh, that's a good hit. Heavy Cavalry hit that unit to the rear. Uh, light Cavalry run all the way around. We've killed their generals here. These men are upset because they've got a bunch of heavy cavalry charging down at them. Alright, new men break, run through this square formation. Who are going to have far it will on and are also going to have... There we go, the new men run over here and form line. Okay, all my artillery, well, field artillery engage, the camel gunners. Whoa, they almost ran straight into a cavalry defense. One of them actually did. Form a new defensive line. You men hit the bowmen here. Chew them up into a fine pulp. Good, that's that camel unit knocked out. So then we can begin to advance towards their general unit. Not quite sure where you're going. Uh, yeah, let's just get into a musket fight. They, they, they've advanced into our line, but I don't really want to knock anyone else out of position because we're getting into where we want to be when it comes to fighting their general's bodyguard unit. Same as you. Just get them to advance through. Whoa, okay. You man... Cease fire. Bar it will against the general's bodyguard, but then again, there's everyone else. Get these two units to advance on the flank. Heavy cavalry charge the mercenaries. Smash. So this is... Gotta bear in mind, this is one of the armies that's on the main front line. So they've got a lot of uh, reinforcements. They've got a lot of uh, armies around them, so we can deal with some of the some of those armies taking a bit of a battering. It's the ones to the east that we can't. Oh, good. So, yes, they've been pushed the right way, so we can repair the port. We can replenish our army. You men in your third, go back to port here for repairs. Because everyone else is... Yeah, see, this guy was was acting as a blocker. So if this guy r ran up here anywhere, we've got one army that was ready to move. So you're actually going to move down here to prevent them from coming back this direction. But in general, everyone else has moved. And I think... I'm pretty sure Persia's got... Yeah, Persia has metal roads. It's just going to take a few turns to get down there. I, so I don't know about you. Minus three. Oh yeah, it's one more turn, isn't it? because they were being taxed. Got the core of another army down here. Up here, rather. So let's get you out of Chakask. Let's give you a general. Gofrido Indrizi. And let's start to haul in some... Actually, I may as well run you down to... Ah, oh, just recruit here. It's not the best position, but it's... We don't have an immediate need for infantry, and I was kind of hoping we might get some better unit choices. But it looks like we are maxed out. Let's just get another unit of heavy cavalry and get another line infantry unit. 
And then we've also got a full stack up here in Moscow. We've also got a couple more stacks here. So you're in good shape. So you join in. So you need two howitzers and one more field artillery unit. But as long as, I don't, as, long as no one's... Ah. So in reality, you only need... Oh, no, you do. Two more howitzer units will, will fill you up. You're ready. Got two six rates to carry you on. The Moscow force you need. Yeah, let's get three more infantry for you. And that'd be another army ready. You're on your way down south as well. Um, lists agents. You're on the way. You're on the way. You're in position. You're in position. You're in position. Just want to make sure. I don't mind if they've not moved. Yeah, you're going to move when the when the armies in Britain move. Okay, now we're on to gentlemen. Okay, so in terms of rakes, all of our rakes are roughly where we want them to be. Yeah, you're advancing up towards Brest, where we've got a couple more generals waiting for copious amounts of troops as well good so we're still at 194,000 a turn we're not running away with it but we're doing pretty well so then over in the americas obviously we've had to pull back but then again some of those armies are coming over here because we want to land again in the americas we've got an army here that can march onto the new island i mean that's going to be an auto resolve it's lots of militia and bowmen uh, but we do want to land here again because we did actually quite six we did a quite a good job at just chipping away at their troops so mr cardano is going to march in due course he's going to march over to here then hit this force and drive them um south at the same time we want to hit this force and drive them west And then, yes, uh, Quebec, always continue recruiting. Because you can't really recruit anything useful, so it's all coming down to Quebec. Now let's do some minor repairs to some of these buildings up here. Let's make sure our roads are good. Yeah, they are. In terms of research, it's only Patna, but Patna's been garrisoned by the enemy, so it's not contributing to our unhappiness. Cool, let's hit in turn. And let's see how things change. See, a lot of our spies are now running over to India. And we've still got, obviously, the Quebec rebuild. And we've also got Stockholm, troops at Stockholm rebuilding. Yeah, we just need to keep on pushing. I, I would really I really would have liked the, um, the Huron to, to come around. That would free up another army to drive east. The Mughals have exterminated the Cherokee, so they must be avenged. Yeah, so if, if, if we keep troops deployed or attacking the south, it does draw them in. And you can see the, in, in, oh. the Indians just have such overwhelming force. It's part of the reason why I'm recruiting so many ships, is because I really want to tr try and shut down as much of their um trading as possible but then again these regions are just incredibly wealthy so there's not even look at that just so many stack off stack off stack off stack this is why you can't ever really stop recruiting armies because they won't and by the time you need them it's too late you can't wait three or four turns to get a new one It's a lot of firepower. Opportunity to intercept, yeah, but I'm I'm just gonna let that let that roll. Although, yeah, as as usual, it's an, it was an expensive loss for us, but we can rebuild or we can add a new unit in there. Weirdly, now we've abandoned Louisiana, they just gonna, are they just going to not attack it? Hey, the the agent died trying to get up to shenanigans.
Yeah, we need more troops. No, no peace. I think we might need to focus on India, because right now... Well, generally focus on India, because that's where we can strike the harshest blow against the Mughal Empire. Because, yeah, you, you guys just need to keep recruiting. Same with down here. We just keep recruiting. What I'd like is... See, that would be a good win. If I could take this size, this sizable fleet, go to Yan Yanoan, you can push them out of the port, run them into our fleet, we can attack them and kill them. So you men go back to Calcutta. You men hold the bridge. You men replenish. So obviously we're still... <laughs> it's just a case of being limited by um, unit capacity. So let's get Cutac to just start churning out infantry. As much infantry as it can. If you push and hit Rambora... Will that draw in any of these units? I might move Daniele out to keep as many units of fight, get many fighting units on the field at once. Oh, you, you're another one I'd like to free up. Silvano Rui. Minus six. If I exempt you from tax, it becomes minus two. Perfect. So let's recruit a sixth rate to go pick them up, and then we can bring them back to maybe join the southern attack. Up here at the Huron, they were a lot more resistant to not having an army in there. Minus 12 becomes minus 8. Yeah. No. You're going to be stuck there for a while unless I recruit the mother of all militia armies. But you can cross the river, so you head over here, then you're going to hit them at the trapper post. Then when that happens, we want to hit this army and make them route back here as well. So we've got our boats covering the crossings. Fleet arrives. So there's no enemy. Okay, Mexico. No one. No one, no one, no one. Ancora in perfetta efficienza. Very well. Virare di bordo, qualche ordine? Ordini ricevuti. Hold on to the hold on to these zones. Ancora in perfetta efficienza. So then that means I mean that fleet's fine. Okay, let's send these privateers down to South America. You get back to port. Keep replenishing. You are. We've got a couple of thirds there, but I might just send you up to join Giraloamo Fel Thingamajiggy. Let's join you guys up. The recruitment in Britain continues. Oh, no, did I accidentally recruit a general's bodyguard? I did. So let's have a third army. Enrico Zachariah. So you're finished recruiting your artillery, and again, there's a case of there's no interesting infantry units to recruit. So, start to churn out line infantry, and it's going to be the same for these guys. Although, actually, you guys don't have your artillery. You're about to get it, though. So, let's, let's get it. This militia unit might be surplus to requirement. No, go back to Belfast. So, Gerardo Piccolo. So, we've got a Mughal Empire fleet there, which is actually a pretty good one. I mean, we can take him out. Let's do it. Shaista Pani. 
One, two, three first rates, a couple second rates, but lots of chaff, and we've got lots of ships. So let's go and attack the Mughals here in the Straits of Madagascar. And any ships we do capture will immediately be sent home for a refit. And then we can continue our advance through the Middle East. We're probably going to put Tahedon under siege as well as Afghanistan. So I always like to put my heavy ships up front. I know it's obviously they're slower, except my Admiral. But it means that my faster ships to the rear can act as a bit more like um, firefighters. So when I need them, I can just go, aha, I need you guys to be somewhere else now. There we go. So again, they're in twin, twin column. Suri, Perry, Salim, Kosem Yusuf. So we got a second ray. I think they're, they're first. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to see is their first ray to the rear. Actually, where's your other first ray? Yeah, there's one there. First leading the column as a first in the center. Then you've got two seconds then a first to the rear. So what we will notice is that this one at the rear might actually end up being too late to join the battle. Um, but yeah, looking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. And there we go. My keyboard's cooperating now. But yes, now we've, we've got our first ships are ready to rock and roll so we've got a heavy first rate up first up front um, against Suri and I'm gonna let my sh my ships continue to sail in line because then to be honest we can just then pounce when we want although I do like when I've got just my just it's just the head of my line I've got to worry about I've learnt chain shot doesn't seem to really do us much help. Actually, nah. Nah, just to it. If I can get all you guys to just keep sailing along this line, I'll use the handful of ships I've got to, chew, to try and chew up the uh, head of their column. That's how I typically like to do it. So the main mast on Suri is gone. I might actually try and bring you around. Every, like I said, everyone else continue to sail, even at half mast. Actually, no, fire round shot. So you're going to take some time to pivot, but it will get you into a good position. There's one more gun to f to load up. I mean, it's going to get hectic later on when all these ships get into line, but fire! Slam into the side of Suri. Another broadside into the side of her. Because after her, it's now down to a couple of other smaller ships. It's part of the reason why I want one to pivot. It'll give us four sets of guns firing on the first rate ship of the line. You guys might actually... Ag, no. Not all of you. You guys carry on. You guys pivot. You guys carry on. Just you. Reload. I would like to try and fire some chain shot just to see if I could knock out another mast and stop her from... There we go. And main mast is gone. Get my heavy rate to slowly pivot a bit more, then fire. And you fire round shot as well. Uh, you guys fire round shot because you've got this first reach of the line is dead in the water. She's still dangerous. 
So all of you ships, drop anchor, because you've got a whole lot of enemies heading your way. This fourth rate ship of a line is going to sail around us and try and do some damage, but we can't really afford to um, move this heavy first rate out of position because she's providing a valuable service against knocking out this second rate, this first rate ship of the line. Although you're now wavering. But I don't want to ease up. I want her to rout. I want her to surrender. I want to knock her out. It looks like the rest of their ships have given up the. given up this ship for dead. She's on fire though, so she could well explode. Okay, you fire a round shot. Surrendered. Okay, carry on. So all of you ships <clears throat> sail up nose to tail. Uh, yeah, he should be fine. So let's get you to pivot. Let's get you to pivot. Then reload your right broadside. Reload your left broadside. Yeah, you're okay firing chain shot. Try and knock out some of these masts. There we go. Rear mast is gone. We've got a second-rate ship of the line creeping his way into the into the the fray now. So let's keep. keep some of our heavy ships firing or ready to fire you guys just blast that fifth rate you guys might actually not even fire at the fourth rate ship of the line I might ship swap you to chain so you can blast us and chain shot into the second rate ship of the line mast not a great shot most of the shots missed Reload with round shot. So you you guys just fire chain. Ah, the main mast on the second rate has been taken down. Sail at full mast. It's another first rate ship of the line getting in there. Okay, there we go. So they've successfully slowed down the action but they've not ended it you are looking unhealthy heavy first rate but this is your role as a heavy first rate your role is to do damage and to withstand said damage these lighter ships seem to be shielding to so all of you guys that are currently sailing sail it full sail keep reloading Got a fifth rate coming in pretty close pretty in close to one of our first rates The heavy frigate starting to the heavy first rate starting to look a bit isolated. Stay where you are. It's not a great position, but anywhere else invites further disaster. Well not disaster, but you're gonna pivot and put a broadside into that fifth rate. You're gonna fire your guns anyway. You're gonna fire your broadside anyway. And reload. Try sail at full sail. This has always been the trickiest bit. You keep firing chain shot because we can keep upsetting. Ooh, okay, so the heavy first rate starting to take take her medicine although she just lost her mast which is quite nice 
golden horse, the fifth rate is routing. That six. Uh, uh, Mogul ship is now routing. You guys can finally fire your left broadside. You guys can fire your right. Into the second ray. The golden horse is surrendered. It's another first rate coming in. You pour a broadside into the side of. That f oh, cha that was chain. Nuts. You sail your way through. Some of these ships are just—they're just resigned to, to their job is to just take damage. <laughs> so you drop another sail and get moving. You drop another sail and get moving. Carronade frigate is routing. You fire chain to fire over that ship ahead of you still do maybe some damage to the second rate. You knock down a rear mast, which is excellent. You switch to round shot. Yeah, heavy first rate is routing, which is to be expected. We're outside for Miss Italian first rate. Where's one of our... start to get some of these other first rate ships of the lines that are a bit you've got a bit of clear sea ahead of them doorbell's ringing but I can't do anything about it right now I mean these guys are just actually just switch, actually round shot that's the, that's the move there they're currently just ramming ships through Two damaged ships. Yep, Nernami is getting around the corner. Yeah, lots of these weaker ships have taken their damage. You actually fire chain shot because you can just keep firing. Oh, there we go. The second rate has now lost all her masts. Now, okay, now you guys, you can start to pivot and creep out. There we go. Yeah, they're all putting broadsides into these smaller Moogle ships. So say they can, this guy can sail out because they do have a fifth rate that's going to start to penetrate the line. First rate, first rate, first rate, second rate. go. Whoa. A heavy first rate's on fire. Fire your broadside. She's gone up. Fire your broadside before she rounds. Get the hell out of there. A little bundle of enemy ships sailing around this little packet. So all of you guys, let's get you to sail Two of our ships are on fire. It's not it's not unexpected that that's what they elected to do. I'm putting shots into Dewan. Broadside into that fifth rate, who's incredibly upset. Pivot this first rate to help fire into Dewan. We've knocked out the sit the main mast. Yeah, the fifth rate there's routing. 
Dewan has lost another mast. Fifth rate, I mean, yeah, you're routing, but you, so you will likely escape. You load your broadside. It's got, we've got a lot of ships that are currently just uh, stuck. So third rate ship of the line. Get them to chase down these routing. We'll get them to sail to attack these ships to the rear because they are the troublemakers and the third rates are, are faster well some of the fastest ones we got First rate's on fire, so let's turn off fire at will. Round sharp. So you guys should pour a broadside into... There we go. And you got our third rates now have orders to chase down smaller ships, so they should be... Should be sailing on their way. You men just stay here, firing into these ships. Side into the side of Murnami. There we go. Diwan is surrendered. So let's keep heavy first rate sailing up to the rear of the enemy position here because they can keep blobbing shells in across all these hulks into the rear of these first and second rates. Ready broadside left. I mean, this first rate's going down. See the fourth rate slowly, slowly escaping. So if I pivot you, you should also be firing at this second rate. Boom, 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 boom. There goes fifth, the Ottoman fifth rate's going up. Oh, don't, don't, don't route. Okay, I'm out of fire now, because I don't want to lose the ship. If I could knock out, there we go. Knocked out one of our masts. So that heavy first should knock out the remainders of their fleet. Third rate ship of the line sailing in danger close. I might take control of you myself. Yeah, the third rates, compared to obviously to the rest of my fleet, when at full mass, they're just absolute speed demons. So you men. Board. Well, not get aboard, but... Fire! The fourth rate ship is actually... Uh, tempted to get to mischief. The second rate ship of the line isn't going to chase down the fourth rate, <clears throat> but she's going to have orders to. She's going to be firing chain shot. The idea with her chasers, she might be able to do some damage to some of the masts and hopefully knock them out. You get back to chasing after the sixth rate. Oh, you're chasing after one of those ships as well. Let's try and knock out the first rate without causing too much mischief 
But if I can get you sailing at full sail out of there, while also firing chains, it looks like maybe your ships have been destroyed. And get these guys to just pivot, they can put some good broadsides into this first rate ship of a line. Ooh, broadside coming in. Come on, Stella Marie. Stella Maris. Gotta be careful here, I might friendly fire my own ship. We will friendly fire my own ship. Very well. You get the orders to attack the sixth rate. You get the orders to attack the fourth rate. So we've still got a first rate ship of a line just sat here. Currently just taking shot after shot after shot from various enemy fleet from various enemy uh, ships. Hopefully you can put some put some holes in her masts, put holes in her, her, her sails. There we go, knock down a mast and take her down. There we go. That Mo Ottoman, the Mughal stack there has finally gone down. Let's <clears throat> fire your broadside just because. Sixth rate is routing. Bring her to heel. There you go. When you do boarding actions, these ships can turn on a dime. Well, look at that. <laughs> there we go. Change to round shot. You should be able to start to sink shots into that fourth rate ship of the line. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. A handful of hits. There we go. So then we've got yeah, this fourth rate that has no sails and is being fired upon from two directions. Granted, my first rate ship of the line is damaged. But that heavy first rate has suffered not much damage. Let's fire the limited broadside now. She is wavering. Oh, she's routing and she must surrender. She must. She absolutely must. You can't flee like that. So let's let, let you continue to chase on. There we go. Put you alongside this first rate. Let's make it look like they're trying to be like, don't worry, mates, calm down. You're one of us. We're, we, we're winning. With our very damaged fleet. But a victory is a victory. But now the objective is to chase down and destroy this fourth rate ship of the line, which is not as fast as my ship's. There we go. Surrendered. Nice. Is this close? It wasn't close. We had some good some good reserves left in the fleet. But that was a nice victory, I must admit. Because that will be a cleared out Mughal fleet. We lost one ship. So let's bring as many ships as we can into the fleet. Not sixths. So then these ships have to come back to Europe for repairs. And there's a Mughal, another Mughal Empire fleet to the north, but we don't want to engage it and lose too many ships. So yeah, you're on your march up to Brest. You guys are... Well, you're recruiting stuff. 
So I'm just going to let you carry on. We've done the fleets arriving. We've done... Did we... Or did we start the building? Jesuit College in Persia. Yeah, we want to upgrade that. And this in New France. You want to upgrade to that. It's another... Uh, sure, Cuba. Not Cuba. Quebec is continuing to recruit. Obviously, in India, everywhere is trying to recruit as much as they can. Um, then we've got... Steam Dry Dock is ours. So let's start to churn out some small fleets to go down and permanently blockade the coast. Although you men are now ready. Okay, I think the first action is to take the armies that need to, and they need to attack these cities. So we need to take Kabul and Zahedin. You guys have orders to take certain key crossings. You, let's give you an order to run down to here. Because it looks like they've... Okay, they've not all lost their orders, but some of them have. Let's give them new orders. Some of them it's going to take a few turns to get there, but yeah, you're still going to go down to here. So the main thing is, they can they can gather a lot in this desert, so we want to make sure that the desert is secure. So like you, I want you to go around the northern route, you can chase down the leftovers from that initial attack. And then continue to advance along the coast. You take a more direct route to Nerun, whichever one that might be. You can advance past Nerun to the to the steam crossing. Nicolo Luzato. You advance to the northern crossing route. You guys advance also to the bridge at Nerun. You guys also advance to this position. Our spies are on the move. We don't have any spies in Zahedin. But they don't have any defences either. So we should be able to knock them out pretty conclusively. Then we can also knock out Kabul and that opens up Lahore, Srinagar. That starts to bring us to the a proper front line with the Indian factions. So let's take this force under Enrico Castro. They are going to attack the city of Zahedan. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the opening up of the Indian Front. Cheers, everyone.